Welcome to this presentation of 2011, the year in review. This is the Specialist Trading Weekly Stock, E-Mini, and Forex lesson for the week ending January 6, 2011. Now, as you can see, we've done something a little bit different here. We've combined all three of our courses together in this weekly webinar. And the reason being is that we want to uh, share with you something new today. So that's why I want to have all the different classes attending this particular same webinar. And I'll go into detail in just a few moments explaining exactly what it is. But before we begin, I ask that you please take a moment of your disclaimer. I'm going to show you some performance results today and four of our best strategies, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of these results will be repeated in the future. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer and then we shall begin this week's review. All right, I'd like to begin, first of all, by wishing everyone a happy new year. Now, if 2012 is going to be anything like 2011 was, and it's going to be a fantastic year because we really grew by leaps and bounds this past year. Specialist Trading had a great year, and not only us, the people involved in putting together the website and the education involved, but also our members and our clients had a fantastic year. If you were lucky enough to follow all of our strategy signals that we provide for you on a nightly and a daily basis, uh, you had a very nice year, and I'll explain to you in just a few minutes exactly what I mean by that. Uh, this was a really great year because we expanded tremendously. As you may well know, we teamed with ProTraderStrategies.com. That's where they sell our individual strategies so that if you're not a full member of Specialist Trading, well, then you can purchase each of the individual courses if you, if you like to trade that way. We also grew by uh, getting a little bit more technologically advanced. We actually added on some indicators, some add-on indicators for NinjaTrader software traders as well as for TradeStation traders so that we now have uh, Strategy 4 signals generated automatically as they appear in real time. And I'll show you some examples of that as well. So we really grew there as well. And, and one of the things that we're going to be expanding along the lines is that uh, we're going to be pr producing and putting together our own webinar next week. And that's one of the things I wanted to share with you. As you may well know, I usually speak uh, being sponsored by educational websites or uh, speaking at seminars or webinars for other people or other uh, websites or other sites that specifically uh, want to produce education for a number of different educators. Well, what we're going to be doing next week, as you can see here in this slide, is we are actually going to be producing our own webinar. This is something that we're putting on just for our members and clients of Specialist Trading or for prospective members and clients of Specialist Trading, people that we have contacted before in the past. Some head fund managers, some just people that like to trade out of their own home. So this is just for Specialist Trading uh, devotees that are interested in seeing some results in, of specific strategies that we had over this past year. I'm going to go into detail and show you numbers and show you uh, different uh, nuances of these strategies so that you can decide if you'd like to trade a different one as well as maybe uh, combine with some type of package we're going to be offering. So I'm going to invite you to all join us. This is going to be held next Thursday. That's January the 12th at 1.15 and we'll go into detail a little bit further in today's presentation talking more about it. Now we're going to start off talking not only in this presentation, but giving you a little preview of what we're going to be discussing next Thursday about our different strategies. And if we're talking about stocks, the go-to strategy with stocks is strategy number four. That is probably our most consistent strategy for trading stocks on an overnight basis. It virtually works in, in uh, any direction, going up or down, and it works actually in any time frame. But it, it works the best in daily time frame bars. And one of the best things, as I said, we expanded this this year was that we added an, uh, an indicator for an trader and for TradeStation users so that it automatically uh, will generate the signals when they appear. As we look back on this Netflix chart from last year, we see that from the mid to the uh, summer portion of the year towards the end we were in a nice uptrend and along the way we were generating buy signals using strategy number four and when the stock finally started to turn the corner and head lower we started to just generate sell signals so this is showing you once again how robust this strategy is but one of the great things about this strategy is that it can also work in ETFs and in different time frames now a lot of people were surprised at how strong gold was from the beginning to the mid part of the year. But if we look at this weekly chart, going all the way back to 2009, we see that strategy number four, when we uh, applied the add-on indicator for NinjaTrader users, we see that we were generating buy signals all the way up. So this is a great tool for investors as well. 
Our, our strategies not only work for intraday traders and position traders, but they also work for investors. So if you're an investor, anyone who likes to play, uh, play gold and, or silver for the long term, uh, this strategy can work just as well. So this was strategy number four for stocks, and I'm going to go into detail a little bit more in Thursday's presentation. Now, if we want to talk about the E-minis, the E-minis are, were, in the beginning, they were specifically designed for intraday traders. So if we're talking about E-mini strategies, we're talking about strategy number four for intraday trading, but we're also going to talk about a new strategy that we introduced this year, which was strategy number seven. This was specifically designed using all of our concepts and techniques for overnight traders, for those traders who like to hold a position overnight in the E-minis. All right. So let's say we were just a day trader and we wanted to trade strategy number four. Well, you can virtually you know, pick any time frame. Uh, you can pick a, a number of different ways to trade strategy number four. You can trade either aggressively or you can trade conservatively or you can combine, mix and match all of the different techniques and tips that I teach you, things that I personally use, and you can either make it more conservative or more aggressive. But a lot of people like to know where what's a good place to start. Well, we, we picked a specific time frame, which we'll, we'll share with you in this coming webinar. And we did a little study going back the last four months of 2011. So from September 11th to this December 11th, in this particular time frame, we were trading very conservatively. So if we traded a very conservative version of strategy number four with one lot only, not, not uh, multiplying our lots and not using a number of different techniques to add on or combine, but just trading with one lot on a $15,000 account, we would have produced a gain of 37%. That's this one simple strategy number four strategy with the simple conservative techniques added along the way. So please remember, though, that past performance is not indicative of future results. These examples are for educational purposes only, so always invest or trade wisely. But as you can see here, these are really phenomenal results going through the last part of last year, and you can just see how well this would have performed throughout the entire year. So in this coming Thursday's webinar and presentation, we'll go into detail exactly what the trading plan was behind this research. Now let's say you are an overnight trader, like you are not interested in day trading the mini, but you want to hold positions for, say, uh, two to five days. Well, strategy number seven is perfect for you. Okay, This is our premier strategy for holding the E-mini overnight. Now, you need a little bit larger account for this, but we looked at, uh, back-tested throughout years, seeing strategy number seven and how well it worked, and trading the standard version in 2011 of strategy number seven with one lot only, remember, not, not compounding, not using multiple lots, but just for the standard version of, of, of strategy number seven throughout this past year with a $20,000 account, you would have produced a gain of 30%. Now, Remember, hedge fund, fund managers were, were desperately trying to gain at least 5%. Well, uh, these fund managers uh, weren't able to uh, do that very easily, but we just you know, were able to consistently generate gains, and we had a gain of 30% using strategy number 7 standard version. Now, let's say we wanted to take it one step further and use a conservative version of strategy number 7. Well, we would, could have done that with the same $20,000 account, trading one lot only, and now we would have produced a gain of over 58%. So do you see how well these st strategies really hold up in today's market and how you can pick and choose to kind of design your own strategy, how you want to see fit to trade it. All right, now let's talk about the Forex, our third uh, category here for trading. The Forex markets did fantastic this year. If you look at a lot of the uh, uh, daily bars of the cross currencies of the foreign currency pairs, you'll see that uh, you know they started out and ended the year just about the same place. So if you had bought and hold, you wouldn't have really done much. But using our strategies, well, we could show you our two premier strategies for the forex were strategy number five and its uh, younger sibling strategy number six. Let's start out with strategy number five. Now. This is throughout 2011, from January 2011 to December 2011. If you were trading the standard version of strategy number five, which we teach you in the course, in the class, and which we generate signals on a nightly basis for, if you were trading strategy five with one lot only, using a $50,000 account, you would have produced a gain of 53%. Now, this is phenomenal when you see many of the currency pairs really did nothing this entire year. Now, the reason why it's a larger account is because you may be holding two or three positions at one time. You may not just be in you know, one trade such as you would with the E-mini. You may be uh, long the euro. You may be short the British pound all at the same time. So you have to have a larger account size. 
Now let's see how well you would have done if you traded strategy number six. Now this is a less intense strategy uh, for trading the Forex. You don't get as many signals, but let's just see how you would have done trading the standard version once again throughout the entire year of 2011. Now trading the standard version of strategy six with one lot only, not compounding any, you know, any position size, a $50,000 account would have produced a gain of over 42%. So if you see how consistent all of these strategies are, if you would have just picked one market and traded one, maybe if you had enough capital to trade two, how well you would have done. Now you see, it's not about uh, hitting home runs. We're not saying that we're going to be generating these type of statistics and the results each and every year, but it's the consistency what we're going after. And we know how hard it was this past year for many traders. As I said, we know how uh, uh, hedge fund managers really struggled and how the market really didn't do much this year. But as long as you have a sound plan that sticks to the basics and keeps things, most importantly, as simple as possible, we'll have these consistent results. Now, please remember past performance, though, is not indicative of future results. We're required to tell you this and also that these examples are for educational purposes only. So always invest wisely. All right, so recapping this, now what we want to do is make sure that you come to this Thursday's presentation. As I said, I'm going to be going over these top strategies for this past year. These are strategies four, five, six, and seven. These are all strategies that we generate signals for you. These are our most popular strategies, and at the same time, these are our most consistent strategies. So we really want you to attend. You're going to get some more information, and we're going to show you the statistics from this past year. So let's say you've been involved perhaps in one of these strategies and you want to expand your trading, we'll give you a little bit of detail on how you can do that, okay? Now, if you're interested in showing up, which we really hope you are going to uh, share your time with us this next Thursday, remember, just go onto this link and register. The uh, presentation will start promptly on Thursday at 1.15 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. That's right after the market closes, 15 minutes after the market closes. It's going to be a live event. As always, I'm going to spend the first 45 minutes showing you a lot of statistics and, and numbers and going over all of these strategies. Then we'll spend the last 15 minutes for live questions. So uh, unlike our recorded webinars that we have here on the website, you'll be able actually to talk to me and to ask me questions and I'll answer you back directly, okay? So I really look forward to seeing all of you. In closing, remember, we had a great year. We owe it all to you. 2011 strategy year review was fantastic. If, if 2012 promises to be anything like 2011, it's going to really be a memorable one, okay? So our goal here is to share the consistency that all of our strategies produce and, and all of our tips and techniques uh, generate. So we really want you to become real, true traders, and that is really about keeping things as simple as possible and just learning how to listen to the most important thing, which is the market in front of you, okay? Now, if you have any questions concerning anything more about this presentation or anything I went over today, please do not hesitate to email me at stephenprimo at specialisttrading.com. In closing, I ask that you take one last look at our disclaimer. I showed you performance results from strategies four, five, six, and seven, but remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of these results will be repeated in the future. Thank you so much. I look forward to you uh, joining us this Thursday, uh, the 12th of uh, January at 1.15 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. That's 15 minutes after the close. And thank you once again for making 2011 such a great year. I look forward to 2012 being just as good. Thank you so much. We'll see you Thursday. Bye-bye.